That's right, parts of Georgetown are under mandatory evacuation orders right now. Where we are is along Main Street in Georgetown. This has really been a bustling with activity all day with people getting their cars and trailers heading out of town this way, while fire crews, including the Georgetown Fire Department here, heading toward the flames down this way. People who live here in Georgetown and in surrounding communities like Volcanoville telling us that they took whatever they could to leave during this evacuation order. Thick black smoke fills the sky off Volcanoville Road as the mosquito fire rages on. The flames jumping the American River and crossing into El Dorado County Thursday, forcing mandatory evacuation orders in Volcanoville, Bottle Hill, and Georgetown. It was awful. Volcanoville resident Linda Gamble saying it was a scary situation when she left her trailer behind. The sheriff came and picked us up and he had to drive through fire to get us out. Like many, Linda came to Georgetown to figure out what to do next as the uncertainty sets in. Because we don't know what's going to happen with if our trailer burns down, where are we going to live? Um, you know, it's just, it's very scary. Car after car evacuating from Georgetown with the plume of smoke lingering in the distance. Four o'clock in the morning, we got the door knock. You need to get out. Volcanoville residents Judy and Clifford Haybig packing up what they could and leaving their home in the early morning hours. The whole ordeal a blur. Horrible, horrible, sad. It's, you know, uh, we didn't cry, panic, we were just in shock. You just go like a robot. The Haybigs own Main Street Mercantile in Georgetown, where about 50 vendors come to sell craft items. But they're putting the chairs inside and closing up shop for now. They don't want to take any chances, especially with this fire so close to home. Actually, this is like the fourth time we've evacuated. been evacuated mm -hmm. because of the fires, but they was usually a long ways off. This is right there. The Haybigs will wait out the fire out of town at their friend Nancy's home. Linda, his mom is here, is also staying with loved ones, hoping her trailer is still standing. If we lose it, we've lost everything. Just a lot of folks really concerned about their properties tonight. The good news is, is that it's a little bit quieter right now. We are still seeing some vehicles come in and out of the area, but for the most part, it's much quieter than it was earlier, meaning a lot of those folks listened to those evacuation orders when they were put in place. And that, of course, is really important to stay protected against this wildfire. Reporting live in Georgetown tonight, Orca Amanda, KCRA 3 News. Orca, it's good to see people getting out safely, that's yeah. for sure. Thank you so much.